Speaking of the presidential election, local election officials are already looking ahead to November. They're trying to plan how to handle things if the coronavirus is still a major concern. What could our polls look like then? Vanessa Rufus found out. Well, it seems early to be wondering how the coronavirus crisis could be impacting our elections in November. Mecklenburg Elections Director Michael Dickerson says they really have to have their plans in place by July. That's why they're looking at all sorts of scenarios right now. Amid a statewide stay at home order due to the coronavirus, large gatherings outside polling sites for primary voting. This is what it looked like in Wisconsin Tuesday. If that is our situation in November, what do we do? Uh, and that's the that's sort of the the million dollar question. In many ways, answering that question calls for a crystal ball. But Mecklenburg Elections Director Michael Dickerson says they're going with the next best thing. The best way to be ready for any situation is to prepare us in any different way that you can. Dickerson says the Wisconsin experience has sparked discussion on what would be needed for in-person voting should the coronavirus curve not flatten in time. Poll workers handing out you know, face masks uh, or do we need to have Purell stations at, at everything? How do we disinfect machines after they, they get used? Uh, do we wipe them down? How do you wipe these, these voting panels down? Or do you go to something different? Do you go with a disposable stylus? He says they've already debated whether early voting could be expanded to spread out voters coming at once, which polling sites could be consolidated if needed, how large scale absentee voting would work, especially with senior care facilities where visitors aren't allowed right now and staff can't legally help or serve as a witness to someone's vote. He says in some of these cases, the General Assembly might have to make legal amendments. In others, it's just wait a bit longer and see. And we should mention, too, that the recently enacted CARES Act does take into account any additional expenses that the states might have related to coronavirus and the 2020 election cycle. It's allocating $400 million to the states for those costs. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.